It's the job that makes local budget deficits seem like pocket change. Whoever becomes California's next governor will inherit a shortfall of some $20 billion. There's also record unemployment and a legislature bickering over how to count votes. No wonder Arnold Schwarzenegger's disapproval rating is now at 80%. So who's going to take his place? A Rasmussen poll finds Republican candidate Meg Whitman gaining ground on likely Democratic nominee Jerry Brown. They're now in a dead heat. Though Whitman, who is the former CEO of eBay, is also taking a lot of heat lately. A lot of it comes from critics who say she's just trying to buy the election. Just listen to this radio ad. Billionaire Meg Whitman thinks she can outwit the people of California. She's threatening to spend $150 million to crown herself governor. Whitman says she needs to spend all that money to win the Republican nomination and ultimately beat Brown. Political editor Hank Plant sat down with her to learn more about her campaign strategy. Hank. Well, Dana, it became clear from my talk with Meg Whitman today how she's going to campaign against Jerry Brown if she wins the Republican primary. She will tap into a national trend, voter dissatisfaction with established politicians. Meg Whitman is running against Steve Poisner for the Republican nomination for governor, but she is clearly thinking about the runoff election in November facing Democrat Jerry Brown. So she's pleased with the new poll that shows her dead even with Brown. So I was delighted to be neck and neck with Jerry Brown. I think it's, you know, in some ways um, unanticipated because he has been part of the political establishment for so many years. But I think it says that this notion of someone who has run a business, who's created jobs, who knows how to balance a budget, who isn't a career politician is really appealing to people. I wonder, is that how you're going to paint Jerry Brown as a career politician and perhaps yourself as the insurgent candidate? Well, he is the career politician. So I don't know that I need to paint him as that. He has been part of of you know, the government in, in California for many, many years. Government and business can accomplish together. Whitman is the billionaire former CEO of eBay who wants to take her business experience to Sacramento. But will a strict business approach work? Now, you have talked about cutting the state budget. You've talked about cutting tens of thousands of state government jobs. And uh, a lot of your critics are saying, look, uh, you can cut all the state jobs you want. You can't balance the budget on the backs of employees. Do you agree with that? Well, it's only one of the things that we must do. There's no question that we have 40,000 more state workers today than we did just five years ago. We have now 357,000 state workers. So we've got to skinny the state workforce down for sure. But we have to reform the pension system. We have to sunset programs that no longer work. We have to utilize technology to do more with less. We have to um, make sure we get all the fraud rooted out of the system. My view is there's $15 billion of savings that we can get by running the government more efficiently and being smart about it. I've heard much of what you're saying from candidate Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yes. But Schwarzenegger, I think most critics would say, was not able to fix the system. In fact, he has an 80% disapproval rating. How are you different from that moderate Republican? Yeah. Well, first is, I think this is all about leadership. It is, and great leaders focus on a small number of things. What you cannot do is go to Sacramento and try to solve every problem. You will be stymied along the way. And what I want to do is focus the legislature on fixing what we have, not doing new stuff. Then there are those anti-Whitman radio ads that began airing today, paid for by an outside group loyal to Jerry Brown. Well, I would say the Democrats are a little worried about my candidacy. I mean, we're f quite far out from the general election. Their candidate has not even declared, and they are fighting on his behalf. So I take it as a compliment in some ways. Do you feel like Jerry Brown is hiding behind uh, this ind independent expenditure group? Well, I don't know that he's hiding behind it. He has not announced. He's not out campaigning. He's not meeting with the press. He is, um, you know, staying in the background and letting these guys fight his battles for him. And? You know, I think he needs to get out and, and declare that he's going to run and, and campaign, as I have. And finally, there is the obvious question, who would want the headache as governor? I wonder why you want to be governor. I mean, you've, you've <laughs> had personal success. You've made a lot of money. You've hit a home run in the business world. Why would you want to take this on? I refuse to believe that California cannot be better than it is. California was the golden state. This was a state where everything was possible, and we can be better than we are. And so that's why I'm stepping up. Now, Whitman has already put $39 million of her own money into the race, and she is reportedly ready to spend $150 million more. By contrast, Jerry Brown has about $12 million in the bank, but Dana Brown recently said, quote, 
Her money is not kryptonite.